Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. How's everybody doing? Listen, are you responsible for your family? If you are, hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to my When Shit Hits the Fan series. I've done a series of videos on what you need to survive when shit hits the fan. Given our current climate in the world, do you think about what's happening in Ukraine? What if you were there? Are you ready to fend off the invaders? Are you armed? Do you have food to last you at least 72 hours to bug out? Do you have a bug out bag that's ready to go with all the essentials that you need to take your family with you for three days to survive? What if other people want what you have, but you're not gonna give it to them? Are you prepared to defend your possessions and your family? Do you have body armor? Do you have a ballistic helmet? If you do, you're halfway there. Hit that like button if you do. But what if some nut wants to start using chemical biological weapons? Are you ready for that? So I thought I was when I bought one of these things off of eBay. It's your typical gas mask, but it's not really a gas mask. They call it a gas mask, but it's really like one of those painter masks, you know? You put it on so you don't breathe the vapors of paint, odors, whatever. And with these goggles, you could probably survive a couple of hours in a dust storm or, uh, you know, when there's tear gas and stuff. Maybe, you know, for a little while. At least enough to get you out of here. But this thing was like 20 bucks. And if you look at it, it's really made to get 20 bucks. <laughs> Look, these things just fall off. And this is the valve, you know, the check valve. So uh, very cheap quality. I mean, it, it might let me survive for a minute or two, but not much more than that. So because of that, I thought I should look more deeply into some serious gas masks. I mean, something that could really protect you, you know? So we're gonna chuck this. My new friends over at Parcel Safety sent me a new gas mask just the other day, and I'm gonna unbox it for you right now. So what we got here are two bayonet style is what they call them two sealed bayonet style filters for your masks. Uh, the thing about these filters is that it's activated uh, once you unseal them. With that, they last between eight and 20 hours depending on how bad your conditions are, you know? Uh, I suppose you could probably preserve these if you had a Ziploc bag and uh, I wanna open this up. So once I open it up, these are done, you know what I mean? These cost about 40 bucks for two of them. Okay, and these go right onto your uh, full face respirator. So here's a couple of clips for your uh, replacement clips for the uh, straps, uh, instructions, user manual, business card, and the mask is right here. This is the PD-101 full face aspirator, uh, respirator mask. Has a double face seal here, one for the beak basically of your face and one for the entire face with uh silicone textured uh rubber straps with tightening tabs it's got a voice box over here which means that you can speak relatively clearly without sounding too muffled the valve is over here and uh i believe this is for a 40 millimeter attachment and over here is for your bayonet style uh, attachments to the mask so I'm going to um, unbox the filters. So it's like a triple tab in there. And uh, I believe you just put it on like this and rotate. There we go. And I'll do the same for this one. So you can tell that this is really good quality because the seal, once you push it in and turn it, there's a rubber gasket seal that, that 
it gives it a little bit of tension and you actually have to use a little force to turn it so you know that it's on here really well. So that's it right there. Um, the filter is as good as the protection that you expect, you know? Um, filters like this are usually for like paint, debris, dust, odors, uh, noxious fumes, that kind of thing. But if you're talking about chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear um, particles, this is probably not going to do much. It may let you survive for a second or two, but not much at all. Uh, there's a way to put this on, and I've just learned how to do it. You basically put the thing like that, you know, the strap all the way to the front. Now, I wear glasses, obviously, and I've tried putting my glasses on and putting this over my glasses, but my glasses are too wide, so it will crush it, you know? If you had thinner glasses, you may be able to squeeze it in there, you know? Kind of like when you go skiing, sometimes the goggles are so big that it goes right over your glasses. This isn't the case. However, Parcel is sending me a spectacle kit where it mounts on the inner part of the lens. And if you give them your prescription and your uh, PD, your, um, I forget some distance measurement, whatever, uh, it can be attached in here. And then once you put it on, you'll have your prescription, you know? But honestly, right now, I just want to survive. As long as you're not 100% blind, uh, it'll be okay. So you place it over your face. And then you slip. And then you slip this over. Just like that. Goes over your mouth. And yes, I am still muffled, but at least I can talk, right? So now I'm breathing normally. If you want to test the seal, you put your hand over the hole and you can't breathe. <laughs> so that's when you know you have a good seal. So this is great. As you can see, this is lightly smoked, a smoked lens. They also have models where it's either clear or amber, you know, for different shades for uh, UV protection. Uh, this is also very shatterproof resistant, right? Very strong. And this, you could feel confident that you're going to um, be filtering out uh, most of the particulates outside uh, foreign particulates that you don't want to ingest into your lungs. So this is the PD-101 model. The 101 model differs differently than the PD-100 model because the PD-100 model uses uh, proprietary filters that only fit that. With the PD-101, you can use the universal uh, bayonet style with the three tabs that you can hook onto it. So it's universal. Uh, and you ready? This whole mask is only about a hundred bucks. Really good value if you want uh, protection from 95% of uh, particulates out there. So this is great to have in your bug out bag in case shit hits the fan and you got a bug out, you feel like you're protected from at least, you know, most instances where you would require a gas mask, right? But what if some nut decided to use chemical and biological weapons? What would you do then? <laughs> oh my goodness. Parcel Safety has sent me another one for that instance. Ooh. The ST100X respirator. Ha! <laughs> A CBRN filter. The same things, extra tabs for your straps and user manual and instructions. So this is the ST100X full face respirator. Similar to this, very much so, except this includes the CBRN filter, uh, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. Now, I don't know too much about that stuff. You guys can Google the information on that, but uh, I believe that alpha and beta rays 
you could probably survive with a decent mask and a filter. But if you're talking about gamma rays, it doesn't matter what you have on your face. Your whole body and your whole, your entire being will be melted instantly, you know, if, it, if you're talking about that. Uh, this is to prevent radiological and nuclear particles from being uh, breathed into your lungs. Um, I'm going to break this open and install it. This is a 40 millimeter type uh, filter. Now, every filter has an expiration date uh, or a shelf life, if you will. So if you don't use it, look, I haven't used a gas mask in 53 years, you know what I mean? Uh, but you never know when you may need it. So this filter costs about 70 bucks. Uh, like I said, your gas mask is as good as your filter, you know, pretty much. Um, if you're talking about chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear uh, uses, you're going to need a CBRN filter or an NBC filter. Uh, NBC stands for nuclear, biological, and chemical, you know. But um, this is a universal 40 millimeter attachment. I'm going to break the seal right now. And you simply just screw it on. Very easy to use. There is a plug over here. I guess after I do this video, I can put this plug back on the cap on and this should be still kind of good. You know what I mean? I'm going to remove this tag and try to put it on my face. I'm going to try to do this a little better now. So you pull the strap out of the way, secure your face onto it. Test it. And there it is. They're both equally comfortable. But this one you're going to be more protected by uh, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. Maybe. Look. In a nuclear war, everybody's done. Right? If you have one of these masks, it may give you a fighting chance. Give you a few hours of uh, breathing and a chance for you to get out of Dodge to a place where the air is breathable without a mask. You know what I mean? None of this stuff is going to guarantee that you're going to survive a nuclear war. But like I said, it'll give you a fighting chance. And don't you want that? This is only like 140 bucks. Okay? Isn't 140 bucks worth a chance, it's worth it. So it's kind of tough to put your helmet on. This helmet's kind of small, you know what I mean? But if you needed to put it on, it's just straps, you know? You can peel the protective film out so it's much more clear. Sent me a nice t-shirt too, thank you. So this is the PD-101, and this is the uh, ST-100X. This goes for about a hundred bucks and it's about 140. Very small price to pay for protecting the members of your family from when shit hits the fan. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking out Parcel Safety and their website. Thank you to Parcel for sending it to me for this unboxing and review. I do feel confident now that at least two out of the four members of my family, my immediate family, We'll have a mask to protect themselves for at least a little while so that you can bug out and get away so you can breathe regular air. Thanks a lot for joining me. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell.
That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.